you guys, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to fix lag on Roblox in 2024. If you guys have any questions about this, make sure to leave a comment down below or go ahead and join my Discord. And if you have any additional questions, you can also go to my website where I will have a lot more information linked on there. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first thing we're going to actually have to go ahead and do is join a game. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is go over to this little button up here, this Roblox button, or you can click Escape. And then you guys are going to go to Settings, and then you're going to want to go to Graphics Mode. And if you change this to Manual, and then turn the graphics fix all the way down or to whatever makes it where it doesn't lag and if you turn them all the way down and it still doesn't work there is something that we can go ahead and do to fix this so what you're going to do is go out of roblox so you can click escape on this little tab or you guys can go down here and click leave i'm just going to click i'm just going to completely exit out and what you guys can do is click windows r and then you're going to see this little run window and you're going to want to type in percent and then you guys are going to type in temp and then percent like this and then you guys are going to simply click ok now, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is delete all of these files. These are temporary and they're not needed to run your device. They're just taking up space. So if you click delete, there will be a few that will not delete because they are actively running. So as you can see, this one's open in Microsoft Web. So just click do this for all current items and click skip. And then click do this for all current items and click skip. And there we go. We've deleted all of those. Now, the next thing that you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is X this out. And you guys are going to go down to your search down here and type in recycling bin. Click recycling bin. And all of these files will be in here. You can click control A and go ahead and delete all of them. This not only will make Roblox run smoother, but it should also make your computer run smoother because it doesn't have all these extra files just sitting in the background. All right, and now it's all deleted. And now the next thing that I would advise is actually going into your power management settings so you can know how much power you're using. So if you guys go into settings, there is a gamer mode that you can turn on. So simply go down here, click search, and then go into setting, type in settings, and then go to settings. So if you type, if you click gaming down, here and you do game mode you can optimize your pc for gaming optimize your pc for play by turning things off in the background and that's exactly what i have on you can go to graphics and try to turn your roblox graphics up but this is going to be the roblox windows version and it's not actually the roblox player version so that doesn't really work as well so if you're still having a couple lag issues the next thing you guys can actually go ahead and do is go down to search and then type in control panel open up control panel click on system and security click on power options and now because my computer is not plugged in and i'm recording a video there is just balance that's all it's set on but there should be a prioritize or a high or something that you can click right here and it will actually make it so it's using more energy but everything is going to run a lot smoother so that's what i would recommend changing it to if your computer is not already on that and if you're trying to play a game with your computer not plugged in just in general it's not going to run as well that's why when i joined roblox at first my game was really laggy it's because i it's not plugged in and it's trying to also run a ton of things at the same time so i would recommend having your device plugged in when you're trying to play games because that could be your issue and there is one more thing i would advise and that is actually getting the fps on locker i do have a video on that if you guys want to go check it out it will be in the description or you can just go to my channel to find it that will help your roblox game so the fps don't cap at 60 and they go further than that so definitely feel free to check out the video it should help you guys out a lot but anyways without further ado that's pretty much it for this video if you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe it will mean a lot to me and i will see you guys in the next one